today is Tuesday and I just did a COVID lateral flow and I am negative. I am so happy. It has been a ride. I'm, yeah, I'm just so glad that's gone and I can leave the house. I actually don't think I'm gonna go out today. I have got a circus class tonight, but I'm not sure I should push it too soon because I feel like I need to kind of slowly ease back into the exercise. I know I'm probably gonna feel guilty if I don't go, but also I know that I still don't feel 100% in myself in terms of like energy level. So I just don't wanna push myself too hard. But today I have got some campaigns to shoot. So I'm gonna do my makeup for the first time in over a week. It was a week ago today, we came down with COVID, like we started getting symptoms. So, um, oh, I, I haven't put makeup on in a week. I think this might be the longest time I've been without putting makeup on. And just before I got COVID, I treated myself to a new concealer. <laughs> I have hardly even used it yet. It's from NARS and it's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I got it in my shade Chantilly. Um, and it's kind of like a really heavy full coverage concealer but i can't wait to properly try it out i'm also excited to use where is it this guy today i've had it for a while but i've been really craving using this it's the aborian super bb ginseng anti-imperfections kind of foundation bb cream half skincare half makeup I'm really excited to use that. I've also got a new lipstick coming tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Um, I will vlog that when it arrives. It's kind of a weird one, but um, I haven't bought myself a lipstick in a, in a long time, so I'm excited about that. So yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup, and then I need to tidy this office um, and like make room for where I'm gonna take these pictures. And yeah, it's gonna be an exciting week. I've got my hen party this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog it. I'm, I'm really undecided. Part of me wants to like just relax and not have to think about picking the camera up and let my hair down with my girl mates and not worry about like, yeah, I want them to all have a good time and not feel like they're gonna be on camera. Um, but part of me would like to have it for the memories. So I'm undecided yet, we will see. What would you guys do? Let me know. I'm gonna put some SPF on today because um, it's so sunny out and I, I would quite like to go for a walk. Like I haven't left the house in a long time. Um, I'm using the Kiehl's Ultraviolet SPF 50. Okay, I've just done a very light layer of this and my skin is just glowing now. I literally used about the size of a pea for my whole face. And um, I'd say the colour is slightly too dark, but I love the finish of it on me. It just makes my skin so glowy and like evens all my skin tone out. Um, I still have a few blemishes to cover around my chin, but the finish of it is just so beautiful. I might as well vlog showing the NARS. I'm not really sure how to apply this, maybe with my finger. It's like very thick. So probably not best for under eye because we don't want it to cake, but for blemishes should be very, very good. Cool, I'll do that and I'll show you my makeup at the end. So I just shot the brand job. I ended up clearing my office out and then decided that the lighting in the bedroom is just so much better in terms of like photographing. The lighting in here is just, yeah way better so I did it shot it in here and now I am planning to film a couple of reels I have got some outfits for my hen party and also for the day after our wedding we've got like everyone staying in a hotel with us on the night of our wedding so for breakfast the following morning I thought I'd make some content around kind of potential options to wear the day after you get married so they are two reels that I'm going to be filming and the job I just shot it might be up by the time this video goes up, but it's actually for an, an eczema product, which I am so excited about. So basically, I am going to be trialling their product for the next month, four weeks, and seeing how it improves my eczema and kind of documenting the results. And I'm just really excited about this because um, my eczema at the moment is flaring up in places that it doesn't normally. So it's a bit weird, I'll show you. So the, the main places I get eczema are on my chest, which I am getting a little bit of around here, in like the gaps in my elbows, 
but right now I'm getting this really weird bit of eczema. I don't know if you can see that, like under my armpit. Never had eczema here before, um, and it's definitely a bit better than it was, but it's still quite angry looking, and I don't know why. <laughs> like I'd, I've never had it in my armpit before, so, um, and also my legs. I get it on my legs all the time. My legs are permanently itchy because of it. I mean, yeah, they're not looking too bad at the moment. These are my my legs, and these are them looking actually quite good. So. Um, just like some scarring, some like itchy dry patches, some like bits where I've just been scratching loads. I'm excited to properly give this product Dermalex a go and see how it helps. One of the things I ordered was this, <laughs> it was so super cute cropped cardigan with love hearts on it, I actually love this. Um, I'm just making some lunch now. It was G's birthday yesterday and for his birthday dinner I had a meal booked but obviously we had to cancel that. So instead I ordered loads of really lovely delicious picky bits like some really fancy cheeses and meats and some like tapenade and hummus and olives and we just had like a perfect picnicky snacky dinner which is one of our faves. Um, and it means that we've got loads of leftovers so i am just cutting all the cheeses up so we can have some for lunch like got some really nice sourdough bread and olive oil and balsamic one of my favorite easy meals is definitely like picnic food this looks so delicious i am now filming some clips of some little like dresses that i've bought recently for either the day after our wedding or um for my hem party and i wanted to show you this one because i really like it i don't think i'm going to keep it but i really really like it it is like this super cool 70s style pink floral dress with the flared sleeves oh, kind of like a high neck it is a little bit see-through <laughs> you can totally see my knickers but i really love it i don't think i'd wear it enough to justify keeping it but if any of you guys are looking for like a really cute bright floral dress for this spring or summer i love this i will leave a link to it down below i have a question for you about while you're away <laughs> what what video games am i allowed to play <laughs> Do you like the look of Returnal? Um, yeah. Shall I, shall I get Elden Ring then and play that? Oh no, you can play this. Oh no, you can play Returnal. You can play Returnal. Play Returnal. Okay, quick dinner. We're going to play some more video games. And then we're going to finish season two of Handmaid's Tale. But, whilst G plays video games, I'm going to trim Maurice's nails. <laughs> And he's such a good boy. You can't see the telly. No, you're blocking half of it. The telly's freaking huge. Look, before Maurice gets um, to... No, he's getting suspicious. Why? Because he's got such hairy paws. It's so hard to find his nails. Boy. It's Maurice's second birthday soon. Oh. Where's your thumb? Whoa. Your thumb is huge. Aren't you a good boy? Are you in the middle of doing anything? Mama? You good boy. So, for getting through Covid, I treated myself to a bar of my favourite chocolate. <laughs> um, someone I follow bought themselves the designer handbag for getting through covid but i bought myself lint, lint chocolate look how big it is it's one of my favorite bars it's available on their website and it's the premium hazelnut chocolate and it's got so many hazelnuts in the worst thing about getting like a fruit and nut or like a chocolate bar with loads of filling is always the disappointment you get when there's never enough filling but i'll show you why this one's great because it's got loads Whenever I open a chocolate bar, I feel like I'm in um, Willy Wonka's, like I'm peeling back to find a golden ticket. <laughs> e oh yeah, see look, this is why it's great chocolate, because it's got so many nuts in. Wednesday, hump day, I am so spotty on my chin, and so PMSy, and in so much period pain. 
I've, I just woke up immediately on the wrong side of the bed today. I'm having one of those days. But we've um, popped out to a kind of newish bakery near our house. It's been there less than a year for lunch. So I've got like a broccoli sourdough toasty. That looks so good. And G's got a brisket and pickle. Oh, these look amazing. Yum. That's the brisket pickle mustard. And I've got a little sourdough broccoli garlic butter toasty next week i am going to have a lash and brow trial for my wedding i am so excited i haven't had my lashes and my brows done properly in so long i'm having hg brows and either um lvl or <laughs> lash extensions with novu lashes hi what we oh handsome boy <laughs> why are you so handsome <laughs> okay you can move now thanks and normally you'd go in for a patch test but as i can't i've got all the bits at home to do my patch test so i'm just going to um do it here i'm going to apply them in little lines and then put some um i put plaster on and see if it reacts Bye. See if it like goes itchy or swells or anything. Um, one of them really smells like sulfur. Oh yeah, I think it's that one. I've had this before and it didn't didn't react, so it should be fine. Put a little plaster on. Just made myself a cup of tea. I've got loads I need to do today. Our neighbours away at the moment, and we're oh god, that's not gonna cover it. What an idiot. Oh well, I'll put a couple of glasses on. Um, yeah, our neighbour's away at the moment and we're popping in tonight to look up to like spend some time with her dog. I think it's a cockapoodle, I want to say. I could be wrong about that. That'd be nice. We've also got a virtual swing dance class tonight, which we haven't done in so long because we've had COVID. And I need to pack for my hen. I do need to do that. With this one, I need to mix one part tin to two parts developer this is the one that's going to like dye my arm there we go suitcase and um, i've started kind of piling everything i need for my hen together i have no idea what we're doing i know that we're going away for a couple of nights on friday coming back sunday i've been told that i need comfy clothes but I've also got a couple of like evening dresses as well. Treated myself to some cute little socks from ASOS, purple pair and a yellow pair. Um, I feel like I just don't have any matching socks at the moment, which is annoying. And then I got myself some really cozy white kind of loungewear set from asos i really like this it's so soft so yeah i think that's like perfect at home comfy snuggly stuff and i wanted some bits that were white as well because i'm getting married also got myself some really some of this these gorgeous silk petite pajamas which i thought were going to be white but they're actually a little bit pink which i really like so yeah set of pajamas set of like comfy loungewear I got myself this super tacky dress, but I kind of love it. It's white and it's got little love hearts and it's frilly and short. And yeah, I'm just really excited about that. The quality of this is really bad and it's from a fast fashion store that I do not want to promote. So um, I'll try and find something better online. I just really couldn't find anything that I wanted. I got myself a little veil, even though I didn't need to, because I think my sister's definitely got me one. <laughs> what else do I need? So I need to pack my toiletries, underwear, some more, like, just casual, like, jeans and tops, I guess. It's so difficult packing for something that you don't know. <laughs> you don't know what's happening. Like, I have no idea what we're going to be doing, what kind of activities or... Yeah. Where we're going, I have no idea. Today is Thursday and I have, oh god, um, I have an event in real life. First time getting on a train in about two weeks. I'm very excited to go and socialise and actually leave the house. I'm going to do a little, another Covid test I think before I go out just to be 100% certain. But yeah, I've been testing negative for 
well three days now which is great i'm just doing my makeup my skin is so bad at the moment whenever i like try and introduce something that is supposed to be really good for your skin my skin just hates it my skin just hates salicylic acid niacinamide vitamin c it just breaks out like crazy and it's so sad so yeah i've like tried my hardest to cover all the bad stuff that's going on in my chin at the moment um the reason i turned the vlogging camera on is because i finally got my hands on a lipstick that i've been trying to buy for about six months it's from clinique and this lipstick went viral on instagram and tiktok because it is one of those shades that kind of looks different but suits everyone like every skin tone every um every face basically it's called it's by clinique and it's called black honey um and i thought i'd try it here i'm not sure if this is gonna be the lipstick i'm gonna wear today it depends how i feel um but look at look at it it is so dark in the tube and i never wear lipsticks like this i've also tried looking for dupes of this and um, couldn't find one anywhere like none are in stock this lipstick is just out of stock everywhere and it's such a unique i guess formula that it, yeah it was just really difficult to find a dupe so i'm going to try it on now and we'll see if it suits my skin okay you see because even though it's super dark in the tube, on the on the lips it's so sheer and kind of just suits your natural lip tone. Buildable. So that is it on. And it's basically just a slightly like bitten red natural lip tint. This is the kind of colour I imagine a vampire's lips would look like <laughs> um if vampires existed so yeah i'm gonna wear this around for a bit whilst i finish up getting ready and then i might put a more neutral one on depending on how i feel but it might just take some getting used to because i don't normally wear oh god shades like that Day and we've just got to where I'm having my head party. Um, so I come here with my mum and my sister, and I just wanted to vlog it before we kind of settle in because this place is amazing. I can't, I don't really know where we are. I think we're near Hastings, but let me show you where we're staying for the weekend. I need to get a video of outside because it's gorgeous outside too, but it's this really cool. Is my mum? <laughs> open plan kind of entry hallway and this place has so many rooms it's insane so in here is the kitchen <gasps> look at it it's amazing so beautiful there's like a dining room here with a piano and some really cool frames on the wall i can't remember what this is i think it's a games room yeah, like bean bag, sofa, books, kind of a nice little snug. Love this. So cozy. So much home inspo. There's a um another little lounge in here with a telly. Oh look outside. It's a bit miserable today, but I think the weather tomorrow is gonna be nicer. But a nice little lounge set. There's like a hanging tire over there, swing. Love these sofas. It's very Instagrammable, this place my friends and my mum did very well and then upstairs are all of the bedrooms nice little window seat overlooking the fields this is my bedroom it's huge absolutely huge it's got a freaking walk-in wardrobe how amazing is that this room is bigger than my bedroom <laughs> like 
the wardrobe is bigger than my bedroom it's insane huge and then through here are the other rooms this toilet is very cool it's like a spaceship toilet look with a bath big shower i'm not doing this justice am i just running from room to room another bedroom there <laughs> another bedroom here <laughs> everyone's running around <laughs> another bedroom here another bedroom here